Hi, this is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best. Today I wanted to take an opportunity to talk about something that's really exciting and it's in the area of body shaping or body contouring. And in general, when we look at body shaping or contour, there's two broad categories of approaching it. Historically, there was really only the surgical approaches to body contouring, which include, of course, the, the most popular procedure that's done in plastic surgery, liposuction. But included in this area of body contouring surgically would be breast reduction or breast lifting, breast augmentation, uh, abdominoplasty or tummy tucks, often called the mommy makeover. And in the new era, there's a lot of con uh, attention being paid to vaginoplasty and other areas of the body that can be improved from the effects of aging, childbirth, and other things that affect our body and its contour as we get older. So those things, gravitational effects are a big part of that also. So that, that area of invasive or surgical body contouring has been really developed a very, in a really very positive way over the past 20 years and 10 years in particular. And even more so, the other side of the spectrum, which is where our expertise at the Moss Clinics are in the Periods Care Center, is the non-invasive body contouring. And non-invasive body contouring really comes down to a bunch of new technologies that can both dissolve or destroy fat, that can tighten body skin and the superficial layers of fat, that can target unwanted hair on the body, and that's not truly contouring, but certainly the appearance of the body, uh, the legs, the underarms, the abdomen, the chest, and, uh, and back in men and women. Uh, obviously, these can be applied to the face also, as well as the colors of the skin, where we can use treatments like intense pulse light, or even special types of uh, lasers to ablate unwanted veins that are on the legs, uh, the arms, chest, other, other places. So the two broad categories of body contouring are surgical or invasive types of body contouring, and then the non-invasive body contouring, shaping, or appearance care. And in that area, we have a lot of expertise, and that's really where I want to focus. Today's technology includes primarily a couple of, uh, of types of energy sources. One of them is ultrasound. Now, historically, ultrasound for body contouring was used to destroy fat. The first device that came out was from a company called Liposonics, and it used focused ultrasound that was extremely hot and destroyed the fat by basically thermally heating it, heating it up to destruction. The problem with the Liposonics device was it was very painful, and if you have to have anesthesia to do it, well, now you're, why don't you just have liposuction if something hurts so, so much that it requires an anesthetic um, of that magnitude. It, liposuction is a very clean, very well described, very easy procedure to do for most patients that no one can see because you can wrap yourself and clothe yourself and you, you look fine. And so that kind of defeats the purpose if there's a lot of discomfort associated with it. The next technology that came out for body, for fat destruction and body shaping was a type of another type of thermal energy delivery but worked on the opposite end of the scale that's cold technology and Zeltique, a company that makes a device that specifically grabs the tissue and very rapidly cools it this is called cool sculpting the trade name and it does it through a series of very large suction cups that are placed uh, specifically on the abdomen thigh area in places where it can fit in some areas these these suction cups can't fit now which is one of the limitations of cool sculpting. But those areas very rapidly cool the tissues. Fat is a better uh, absorber of uh, energy, cool or heat, cold or heat, and thus the fat and the fat cells are fragile, so they're destroyed while the skin is preserved. And the only discomfort with that is this sort of extreme vacuum that's placed where these suction cups are, are on the body for about an hour or an hour and a half in most cases. So, and that technology works great. It works exactly in the footprint of the area where the suction cup is placed. So you have to have it placed in, in several areas if you want to reduce uh, fat in a way that is done uh, nice and uh, systematically and symmetrically and evenly. So that leaves some, some potential issues with overlapping so you don't have little what are called bathtub deformities with school sculpting. The newest of the technologies for fat destruction is one that's called UltraShape, and we'll get into this in a little bit. But UltraShape is a technology that uses ultrasound also. Now, it's not cooling or heating like we talked about before with the first ultrasound device and then the, ultimately the cool sculpting device. 
Uh, this is a mechanical vibration of the fat cells that's so rapid that it actually causes cavitation or breakup of these fat cells without heating or cooling and thus there's vir virtually no pain, I think really no pain for any patients that we've described. The feeling or sense of vibration is all they're describing. So this is a big one. We'll get into the ultra shape technology. Uh, it's something that's offered through the, the Moss Clinics, the Appearance Care Center, and something I think is very exciting as it was just introduced into the United States. There are other technologies that are being used for body shaping also. The main one is an energy source called radio frequency, which is really a euphemism for electricity, but the body is an excellent uh, resistor to the passage of electricity, and so when RF, radio frequency or electricity, is passed through the skin in a controlled way, and the first device that came out like this was called Thermage, that energy is, that radio frequency gradually builds up heat in the tissues, which can cause tissue remodeling and tightening. Now the newest and I think the best of these technologies is one called VeloShape, where you're not grounded distally with a pad somewhere on your leg and you're being treated somewhere else, but where, where the grounding and the electrical current or radio frequency current is in the handpiece, which is what the VeloShaped uh, device does. So VeloShape can be used in any area of the body. It uses mechanical wheels that slightly roll. It uses actually some light suction, nothing like what cool sculpting does. And it, it, gener it generates the heat through this radio frequency energy that's passed through the tissues, through to tiny electrodes that are in the handpiece of the device. The difference between VeloShape and UltraShape is that VeloShape really works near the surface of the skin. Maybe the first couple layers of, you know, a few millimeters of fat are affected below the skin surface, but we get a tremendous skin tightening from the RF technology, and then we get those first few layers of fat, the first few millimeters of fat affected, whereas UltraShape is focused deep below the surface to functionally destroy fat. So these two technologies together offer a fantastic combination to do non-invasive body contouring. In that same vein, when we're talking about body, and no pun intended, there are unwanted colors in the skin, and those are mostly browns that are created by sun damage, brown spots and things like that that we get on our legs, arms, chest, back, everywhere. And we can treat those with uh, treatments like intense pulse light, which can be used on the entire body, Fractional laser resurfacing can now be used on the entire body to both tighten the skin and treat brown spots. And then we also have the uh, option of treating veins that are larger red or blue veins, the ones that we see commonly in the legs, often called varicose veins, with special types of laser or even sclerotherapy where very tiny needles are injected with a vein irritant to reduce the appearance of those, really destroy the vessels. So some combination or all of those technologies are ways that we can improve the body shape and contouring. There are a number of different devices out there besides the ones I've named. I'm named amongst the more popular ones, but there are many out there and they're always improving and it gives us many options for people who don't want the surgical downtime or discomfort, but would like to improve the appearance, shape, or contour of their body. And so having those available along with laser hair removal, which now with the newest uh, t technology, the Duet uh, type of technology, there's one a device called the Duet Light Shear, bigger head, no, virtually no pain with the treatment, which has historically been the big issue with laser hair removal. We can do this combination of therapies and really change the shape, contour, and appearance of the body without having to lift the scalpel at all. So if you want more information about non-invasive body contouring and ways that you can really change the body without surgery, I encourage you to visit our website at mossclinic.com. Certainly explore my video blog, drmoss.com, where we have a lot of information, uh, live demonstrations, me talking about the treatments, and of course, before and afters. You're welcome to write me at drmoss.com, send me photographs. I'm happy to give you an opinion on whether you'd be a candidate for surgery or non-invasive body contouring. And as always, it's my pleasure to talk to you about looking your best. This is Dr. Corey Moss. Thank you.